This is Average Joe PT, where we're here to reduce pain, reduce anxiety, and improve overall function. Now today, Scully and I, we're going to go over all the different techniques that you can do at home to reduce the swelling in your legs, ankles, and feet. Now they include manual massage, also known as lymphatic massage. We're going to go over some wrapping techniques. We're going to go over some exercises that you can do, as well as positioning techniques to reduce that overall swelling. Now, if you want your leg to look something like this, see, that's nice. Now, unfortunately, if your leg looks something like this, that's not so good. I need you to stick around with Scully and I, sit back and get some popcorn, and stay with us. Here we go. First thing, what do you think, Scully? We're gonna be down on the floor most of the day. You gonna be all right with that? As long as I'm not on the floor. Okay, all right, all right. You stay there, keep your ears open, and you can listen as well as the rest of our, our team here. Here we go. First things first, we're gonna talk about some exercises that you can do. Always wanna do this above the heart. If you're not elevating your legs above the heart, you're wasting your time. You gotta use gravity, ain't that right, Scully? I know gravity doesn't always work for me. That's right, it's all about gravity, baby. Legs are down, as you can see. Now you can do this on the bed. All you need to do is have maybe a few pillows, but you always want your legs and ankles above your heart so that the fluid is going away from your ankles and your feet and coming towards back towards the center where it all belongs. All right, and while you're just hanging out here, you probably should lie, lie here for probably 10, 15 minutes. And maybe just straighten those knees out, maybe one at a time. Or you can do it both at the same time. And just kind of pump your ankles up and down. Basic ankle pumps. A lot of people talk about doing ankle pumps. If you're not having your legs elevated when you're doing the ankle pumps, you're really wasting your time. Is it better than nothing? Yes. Is this way better when your legs are elevated? Absolutely. You need to do them as best as you can when your legs are elevated. You can do maybe 15, 20. You can do this at least twice a day, all right? At least twice a day, do this exercise. Next one you're gonna do is just kind of open your legs up and close them. Pretty simple, open and close them. Now you can do this where they're still ele elevated. You can as much as possible. Keep those legs elevated when you do this. The next one, just kind of sliding your leg up and sliding it back down. Sliding the other leg up and back down. Now, that's a nice cluster of three exercises. You do about 15, 20 of those, and then maybe you can do another full set of that while you're having your legs elevated for maybe 15, 20 minutes. To know, if you have a history of congestive heart failure, this is a big no-no, unless the doctor says so. Because the reality is, is we're pushing more fluid back towards that heart and if you have a diagnosis of CHF, or congestive heart failure, you can put too much of what we call load on the heart and really give yourself a problem. So be smart. If you have that diagnosis, don't do this exercise until you see your, your primary care doctor and they say it's okay to do this. But those are three good exercises to do that are really simple. Let's go ahead and show you the wrapping technique next. You're going to love this one. Let's talk about wraps. Now, this is a certain kind of wrap. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna leave a link down below. You can get one of these wraps for probably between five and $10. Now, these are different than regular ACE wraps. They're not the same. Now, what's the difference you might ask? An ACE wrap gives you constant compression all the time, whether you're resting or moving. This type of wrap that we're gonna use today is when you are resting, it's not giving you compression as much, and when you're moving, it's giving you more compression. So that's the reason why this works way better, even though it might look the same, it's not the same. I'm gonna give you that link down below. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and just leave them in the comment section. Kelly and I, we're gonna look at them, we're gonna read them, and we'll go ahead. No one, no question is dumb. The only dumb question is the one you never even asked. So, I'm here, Scully's here, we're going to answer those questions when you go ahead and give them to us. Back to the wrap. What you're going to do is you always want to start down at your foot, down in the toes area, and you want to put the most compression down there, and as you come off the leg, you want your compression to reduce, so that you're giving the most squeeze down below, and as you're coming off the thigh, 
and into the groin area, your compression is a lot less. We're gonna go ahead and start that. We're gonna put this nice wrap like this, gonna come down. We're gonna give it about a 50% stretch. About half of the full stretch is what you wanna do with this. It's not that complicated, half the full. Now what you wanna do is you do the next layer. You don't wanna just do a complete circle and, and choke your leg off. So you wanna do about 50%, about half of overlap. And you just keep going, half the overlap to the next one, and half the overlap to the next one. And try and take out as many wrinkles as you possibly can, and all the way up through. Gonna do a little time lapse on you so that you can see this when it's finished, okay? Now, you see, we did half the layers all the way up through on a 50% stretch. You can go ahead, you wanna wear this up to 24, 23 to 24 hours, and you can take them off. All right, you can use these again. Go ahead and wash them, air them out, don't put these in the dryer, but just wash them, hand wash them, and then go ahead and you can reuse these. That's a real simple wrap job that you can do on each leg to help reduce the swelling in your ankle feet. That'll show you some cool stuff then. Stay tuned. Just imagine how much water your body takes in in a whole day and processes it. For a man, it's 3.7 liters up to four, and for women, it's 2.7 liters. And all that water has to go somewhere, pouring right out just like that bag does. Just pouring that water right out. That water's gotta go somewhere. It's gonna go through that lymphatic system and back out your kidneys so you can get it out. And as you age, those legs and muscles and vascular system just can't handle like it used to, especially if you're standing and walking. But you want to have those the skin to look wrinkly like it is on the screen, especially after you had that swelling. As it gets, as your swelling goes away, that wrinkling is going to look just like that. And when you're young, your vascular system's like this nice two-liter bottle. It can take the pressure for a while, but you got to watch out if you put too much on the system. It'll spill over. What would y'all think about that video? More to come. I'm all about making this content as good as I possibly can for you all. I respect your guys' time. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Now, Scully and I, let's talk about the lymphatic system. What the heck is the lymphatic system? I'm gonna leave a little pick up here, and that's all about the lymph system. Now, that's in through the entire body, and the scary part is this. If you have cancer in your lymph, lymph nodes or lymphatic system, that's dangerous. Main areas are in the armpits, groin, and in the neck. Now, you have it throughout your entire body, and that's basically what gets the fluid out. So when you sprain something or you damage something, or if as you age, kidneys aren't as good as they used to be, you have kidney disease, or you have some sort of liver issue going on, or if you have congestive heart failure, CHF, for short. CHF specifically, if you have that diagnosis, I don't want you doing lymphatic drainage until you see your doctor because as we said earlier, you don't want to load the system to your heart and have a heart issue going on. I'm going to give you the basics and go through this quick. If you guys want some specific details, leave some comments down below. I'm going to read your comments. No comment is dumb. I will read it and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. But if you want a more detailed information on lymphatic system, I can do a video specifically just on that and go over that in great detail if you want. They always talk about getting the system ready. We're gonna work proximal or close to the body, working the system, and then work our way down, and then bring fluid back towards the actual groin or the big areas that can take the fluid out of your body. Essentially, what we're gonna to do today is you don't wanna pull hard. This is very lightly done. You just wanna see a little bit of stretch on the skin. You don't wanna be pulling on a thing and tearing on it. The lymphatic system is very fragile and you don't have to push down. You just do a nice little stretch across the body. Almost like if you're gonna pet a cat or pet a dog nice and gently, especially a cat. If you, you pet a cat too hard, they're gonna let you know. <laughs> Ain't that right, Scully? You should have seen Scully one time. Oh, it was crazy. Wasn't a scully. That stupid cat, that's how I lost my legs in the first place. <laughs> you should have seen him running around. This is when he had legs. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start to get this system working here. So go ahead and gently come across to the neck and work that area nice and easy. 
You want to do about 10 gentle strokes around the neck area. Then you want to come down here through the armpit area and they talk about don't squeeze it, but just kind of give it a little jiggle and probably do that about five or 10 reps. And then you want to work the system and kind of work down through the ribs nice and easy, down through this side of your arm and ribs and cage area. And so what we're doing right there is just getting the system ready. When you haven't even done part of the leg yet, all we're doing is getting this system ready. Now after that, what you wanna do is down through that rib area. Now that we've gone down through the rib area, the next area you wanna do is just come right down to the side of the leg. Come down through that lot side of the leg and you wanna do that about 10 times. Now if you can, you wanna do this skin to skin. I'm gonna keep myself decent now don't you guys think of anything. I'm gonna keep myself decent here and just go through the shirt. But obviously if you're doing this in the privacy of your home, you wanna try and do this skin to skin, nice and easy to come down through. After doing each set of about 10 reps, is we're gonna come through the groin area, and just like we did through the armpit, we're gonna come through and just kinda of get that groin area ready. Go ahead and take that fluid from the whole system here. So essentially we're working the whole system before we even get to the left area. Just coming across, probably just above the abdominal area, and the same thing, you're gonna go ahead and do 10 swipes through that area. Now you're gonna come down through, through the groin area, and just gently kind of work your way up through, and you're gonna wanna do 10 reps on each of that. Everything's 10 reps. Then you're gonna wanna come through, come down through the leg, like you would think, and just kind of work your way up, nice and easy. As you can see, I'm not tugging at my leg, I'm just giving a nice glide through and just a nice little skin pull. Then you want to work your way down to the feet, stroking upwards through the toes and working your way all the way through. Now as you're doing this, you always want to breathe in and breathe out nice and easy. Get yourself in a non-stressful environment to kind of start this whole process out. Like I said before, if you have any questions, leave some comments. But that's the basics of lymphatic manual drainage. Stay tuned. All right, folks, there's another exciting episode of Average Joe PT. If you have any comments, just go ahead and leave them down below. If you're new to the channel and you would love to subscribe, Scully and I would love to have you. Just hit that red button and hit the bell, and we'll go ahead and once or twice a week, Scully and I are going to bring you some good content. And But until next time, we want you to look up and keep smiling. Ain't that right, Scully? Look up and keep smiling. Yeah, I think he's got it, folks. See you next time.